So it looks like we're going to completely eliminate Byzantium here from the game. I can't wait. Uh, it's not really going to do much for our Horde Unity, uh, but hopefully it'll slow it down from decreasing so fast. I mean, I know it doesn't overall help out our Empire too much, um, but I think it'll make our borders look better. <laughs> and that's always a big priority here in these EU4 games. Uh, okay, so let's try our best. Let's maybe even slow this down. I have no idea how many troops they have. And if they get there first, which it's more likely that they will, uh, we will probably receive a crossing and a terrain penalty. Let's see, when are we going to get there? I'm a little bit worried. I guess it doesn't matter now. Two days? Nice. Hey, where the heck are they? What? Have they been using these transport? They don't, those are light ships. Those aren't transport ships. Are these transport ships? No, these are galleys, I'm sorry. These are, these are their light ships. I don't know where the troops at, but I know that they've been building them. Uh, okay. Uh, interesting. I will combine and detach. Is there a fort here? Doesn't matter. They're, they're, I can't go there anyways. Wait a second. You only need a one stack? Uh, that's... Wait, what? Really? <clears throat> that is interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and split these guys up. Go around this way. I am going to be blockaded. I'm sure Byzantium still has a pretty massive... Ooh, here they are. Aha. Here they are. Come over this way. And that is no fort. A level 2 fort? Oh, it probably wasn't... Uh, it wasn't at main full maintenance. They probably had mothballed their forts. Yes, that's it. All right, so you guys go this way. And we will reinforce this spot here. Um, is it the uh, cruelty of the mercenaries? Great. Lose 10 prestige. And we've got local... Oh, my gosh. Plus local... Plus three local unrest. N ah... Yeah, let's let's go with this one. I mean, it's gonna be next for the, for the next five years. Only lose five prestige. I'd much rather do that than increase local unrest right now. <clears throat> now where are they going? I might as well let them land. Like they can land. That's fine. Uh, I just I'd rather not have to. I, I don't know. I'd rather not have to stress that they're gonna come. I they're not gonna send their troops with like a massive straight crossing. You know what I mean? So that's not too bad. Uh, let's just prepare. Let's go to Caraman. Wait for them to drop those guys off. Boom. All right. So we're only at 14%. I have no idea where Byzantium... Where the heck is the rest of Byzantium's empire? Here it is. Obviously, I've got no navy uh, at all in the Mediterranean. Obviously, that is a work in progress. I want to fix that, but right now I, I can't. Uh, Royal Marriage of the Uzbek. No, they've been trying to get that for a while. I'm not going to do it. I'm losing so much money right now. Why am I losing so much money? Where's that coming from? Fort maintenance. Oh, a lot of it's from fort maintenance. I might need to delete some of these forts. I mean, geez. If someone attacks me, they attack me. I'm going to mothball my forts, though. Yeah, I don't care if I'm at war. All right, where are you guys at? You guys coming or what? They have not started to approach yet. I guess they don't... Well, we don't... It doesn't look like... Actually, there's not anything in there, is there? They're just blockading us. Uh, I'm pretty sure we would see. There, I don't think there is. There are any regiments located inside of that those transport ships. So we're only at 14. percent I'm not sure exactly how much it's going to cost for me to uh, sue for peace and take these three provinces. 19 war score. I'm at 14. Did I say 3 percent? I felt like I said three. Uh, we only need five more. So 14 percent is where we're at. Uh, this value is going to cost 19. Oh my gosh, it's so far away. We might just need to sit in this war for a while. That And that's not good because I wanted to peace out fast with these guys. I wanted to make this quick. I've got the advantage over them, right? Yeah, I've got the numbers on my side. Definitely. If they could just send over their troops and I wipe them out, that would help us out a lot. But I, I want to obviously take them out here. This is it. I think this is all they really have. And this is their capital? Yeah. And there's probably no way of me getting over there unless, of course, military access through Genoa. Nope, they've rivaled me. And who is this? Venice is doing it. Fantastic. Wow. Uh, they also have themselves one vassal. So, yeah, they're doing pretty good there. Kandar is still alive even though they're at war with Serbia and their ally of, uh, of Bulgaria is getting completely sieged out by Serbia. I, don't, I think they're pretty safe. I, I think Serbia, I think they might be landlocked. I don't know if they have anything near the Adriatic Sea... 
They might. All right. Well, I guess we're going to sit here. Do we have ticking war score? No, it's, it's a show superiority uh, casts bell eyes, so I do not get a ticking war score or anything like that. What happened? Oh, that's what I thought something was going on behind us. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so 19. It's at, oh my goodness. I mean, I guess, worst case scenario, I could just take the developed province that I want to, to raise, which is here. I mean, I could just get out of this fast. Truce wouldn't be for that long, so I, I could just... You're not cool with that? Really? So just for that, it's gonna it's gonna cost it's gonna take a lot of time. I mean, I've got the war score for it. I mean, I guess I needed more manpower anyways, but still, that kind of sucks. What, what am I looking like here? Uh, I haven't seen any increases overall to my possible revolts, so that's good. Worried about going so high in terms of uh, war exhaustion, still losing a lot of money as well. I might need to fire that advisor. I don't think I can keep him anymore. It was nice having it was nice having him on board for a little bit, but yeah, I don't think I can afford to keep him. I'm still at negative two point six. Is there is inflation costing anything? No. Oh well, let's let's wait for let's wait for the end of the month and see the updated list here. I don't know why I've had so much trouble making money. I need to really look into that trade map mode. I, I don't know what is going on, or maybe that's a horde thing. But yeah, that it might be a horror thing because, uh, you know, they're increasing autonomy. All the estates they control, they increase the autonomy. Conversion successful. I might need to hold on to that missionary for a little bit too to save some money. Ah, but we're converting things over in 20 months, less than two years. Uh, that is really nice. But we're obviously going to sit in this. Wait a second. Byzantine separatists. They're going to Genoa, right? You better stay over there in Genoa. There you go. You stay right there. Still, it's going to take less than two years. Uh, oh, my gosh. Wait a second. Influence. I, why would I want them to gain 10 influence and lose? That's terrible. I don't care if they lose loyalty. I don't want it to go below 30, though. That would be bad. Yeah, let's go here for the next 10 years. So below 30, I believe uh, you start. I believe that's another disaster. Let me just remind myself here. Yes. So long as their loyalty is at least 30, they will provide bonuses. Oh, both in the provinces they control and across the entire nation. Should they ever become disloyal, they will instead provide country, countrywide uh, penalties as well as increase unrest in provinces they control. Oh, crap. All right. Well, hopefully this doesn't fall anymore. <clears throat> but luckily, uh, the tribal influence has gone down. That's what I like. And I didn't have to lose a bunch of manpower. What am I at now? Losing two ducats per month. So you good yet or what? Are we good? That's all I want. We are not good. I, my war score, there's no way I can get anything relative strength of alliances, occupied and besieged provinces. Yeah, so it's just going to be a waiting game. I'm going to go ahead and convert this stuff then. Wait, what are these? What are these telling me? Hold on. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we're going base tax. Ah, uh, man. I might... I'm going to lose prestige. Yep, I need to lose prestige. Because I'm waiting for this new uh, idea group. That's going to be very big. I'm really thinking that idea, that idea group is going to be a big thing. Is artillery coming? Oh, it is. That's cool. Where, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You better be going to that province, bro. 12,000 manpower. I don't really have the money to hire more regiments, even though I want to. These rebels are just kicking butt. These Byzantine uh, separatists are doing an amazing job. 75% chance. Loyal unbelievers. Spy offense. I don't care about that. No. Give me the prestige back. Okay, cool. And yeah, we're going to convert things over. I don't care. We, we're going to pay another 0.5 ducats per month to continue to convert things. Gang piety, so we can do it even faster. So now we're back at 100. So we're doing it in one month less. Not that big of a difference, but, you know, hey, still something, right? Still something. I'd like to not take out a loan. My 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 inflation's already kind of high. 
So I'll decrease it a little bit. I know it's wartime. That might be bad. I wonder if that's going to affect the peace treaty too. Um, no. And we're, we, yeah, so that length of war, we're, we're, we've still got another several, maybe a year left before this goes away. Uh, local goods produced 25%. I like that. Or 15. No, nah, let's let's go with let's go with the extra 25% local goods uh, produced modifier. And while we wait, I want to check on the trade node values. Uh, so what is going on here? Oman broke their alliance. Ooh, okay. So we're transferring trade to this node here, which I'm wondering. Do I, am I losing power? No, I've got the most power. I've got 70 power. I think it is a horde thing. Just, just they control a lot, and uh, you know what I might do is I need to go to the estates map mode, and maybe decrease the amount of provinces they control because they have so much autonomy here. So if I uh, let me make sure that they're doing this, it's controlled by the tribes, increasing their influence by 1.5 minimum province autonomy. Let us take this away. They're at 40%. I'd like to keep them like close to the minimum. I'm going to take this away too. I obviously want to continue to, to watch this number though. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they're like 10% more control than they need. So let's start taking like a crap load away from them. From them. Ooh, wait a second. There are disloyal states in your country. Why? Oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yearly Horde Unity. It's, is it already falling that fast? If I give them back this, will they be cool? I can give back something else. I mean, there's, there's still a lot left. I didn't realize that was decreasing that value as well. All right, well, let's give this to the tribes, and that should help. There we go. All right, stop. Stop just uh, complaining at me, jeez. Leave me alone. All right, so that's all we can. That's all we can do. Nothing else we can do. Try to take eliminate like you know three or four of their provinces that they controlled. But can't do much more than that. Hey, I'm getting more money though. That's cool. See, I should be trying to maybe take away uh, the estates they control near this valuable trade node, right? Do they control a lot of land here? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Pull them over towards this way because I, I don't need. Uh, this isn't super valuable, and I don't have that much power here anyways. It's mainly Genoa. I have very little power here, actually. Yeah, so that's... Uh, that sucks. <clears throat> Alright, length of war. Is this done? You're getting, you're getting war exhaustion. Because I'm sitting here with your occupied territory. We are still a ways away. I don't know what they're getting, but anyways, let's go ahead and get ourselves finally our uh, our first idea group. I'm excited for that. All right, so I don't even know exactly what I want to get. I know I've been playing with the religious idea group. I know how important that would be. Um, religious idea group would allow me to permanent cast a spell against all neighboring uh, heathens and heretics. That's amazing, but I already have a permanent uh, cast a spell against all, all neighbors pretty much. Missionaries, that is what I want. I want an extra missionary to be able to convert things that much faster. Get really because we need we really need that stability cost lowered, uh, missionary strength by three percent, tolerance of true faith, uh, yearly prestige, and missionary strength versus heretics two percent, which would be really, really, really helpful with all the Sunni provinces that we're taking over. Uh, religious unity, what might be even better though. How bad is my I, I believe I'm like I'm at like 67 percent or something like that. 64. So that would boost me way up. Um, <clears throat> oh, we're about to see some Armenian separatists soon. So yeah, that would boost me way up. This is administrative idea, so it's going to cost me administrative points. National unrest, tolerance of heathens. Ooh, tolerance of heathens. Plus three. Oh my goodness, maybe this is even better. Holy crap. It Actually, I think it honestly might be humanist ideas. Influence ideas. We don't really have much vassals or anything like that. We're not really playing that game. You know what? Yeah, I'm going with humanist ideas. Religious unity, like, that far away. Like, religious ideas is going to help us. I think it's more of a later 
uh, a later group, uh, idea group that might be helpful. But right now, I don't really have the money to be able to fund two missionaries out there constantly. So let's just go with humanist ideas and hopefully get enough administrative power soon to be able to get that extra religious unity bonus. Because that, that's the only thing that's uh, really affecting my national revolt risk. Uh, yeah, and war exhaustion occasionally. But if we could get that down, I mean, we, we might be able to get, like, national unrest at very, very low numbers. Very low numbers. Um, how much money am I making? I'm making money. I'm just not making, like, a whole bunch. Well, their war exhaustion is going to continue to go up. Really hope they try to send something over here soon. We might have another seven months until we can end this. It maybe, perhaps. Uh, Horde unity is falling fast. D does that is that idea group? Is that disaster back? No. Civil war disaster is 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 not here, so that's cool. That's positive. Still don't like this to be so low though. Obviously. No, Uzbek, I'm not giving it to you, dude. I'm for sure not going to give that to you. There is no amount of anything that you could give to me that I would allow that to happen. I, I, there's no way. I would, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm really disappointed in this alliance, though. I have a feeling what's going to happen is Muscovy's going to attack them, and they're going to call me in, and I'm going to be screwed. I didn't realize Genoa had this much progress here, too. Genoa is really starting to go crazy. This is a very interesting map. I mean, I don't even know what Europe looks like, but just this part of Europe looks crazy. Yeah, I'm making a lot more money now. All right, well, that's good. Well, 0.7 is not a lot more, but at least it's like almost a ducat per month, which is much better than where I was at before. Uh, let's continue to increase prestige, to be honest. When it comes to prestige or money, I'm going to do prestige. At least when I'm so low in prestige. Local unrest for how long? For five years? Monthly autonomy change? <sighs> Oh, that sucks. No, no, no. I'd rather just pay the administrative power. Just 25? I mean, I'm making so much per month. I'm making nine per month, so three months we'll have that back. Three and a half months, pretty much. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not spending all that. That's that's crappy. Still at 14%. Where are we at? We better be less than 30, I swear. This is stupid. There we go. Okay. it's it, it'll It'll be over soon. <clears throat> and I'll probably go to war with uh, one of these one province ma miners here. Probably this one province miner. Venice has declared war on Serbia. And let me make sure this is going down per month so, so I, know, I can confirm. Yes, it is. So I can confirm that in three months we'll be good to go. Too bad that I won't be able to take anything else over, but, you know, that's cool. Still be able to raise that down. Can't, I can't. I couldn't raise any of this, these other stuff too. Anyways, the only thing that sucks about that is that Genoa is probably going to grab this these lands, which sucks. Hey, Bulgaria survived. Yeah, that's well. That's good. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop it right here. And when we come back, we'll already have these lands. I'll probably have a cord and stuff like that. Skip over the the boring stuff. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.